Let's get some news from Europe now. The Eurozone's three largest economies are scheduled to hold a news conference on the debt crisis in the coming hours. It comes as Germany saw its worst bond sales since the launch of the single currency. German Chancellor Angela Merkel, French President Nicolas Sarkozy, and Italian Premier Mario Monti are expected to discuss plans to boost Italy's struggling economy. A general strike is threatening to shut down public services in Portugal on Thursday. Trade unions are protesting against austerity measures linked to a $104 billion international bailout. Let's go straight now to Barnaby Phillips. He's in Lisbon for us. And uh, Barnaby, we've seen we've seen this kind of uh, strike before, but maybe you can describe what's happening. And I know you have a guest. That's right, Tony. I've been traveling around central Lisbon today. It's a little bit early for me to draw big conclusions nationally on how the strike is doing, but certainly uh, here in the Portuguese capital, many flights have been canceled. The metro is not working. Uh, and I was at one of the main train stations, a place called Caixa de Sodra, where normally at this time of day, all those commuter trains would be coming in from the suburbs. Everything is at a standstill. Obviously, trade unions here are very unhappy about tax rises, about pay cuts and about cuts in public spending. That, I'm afraid, is a familiar story from struggling European countries like Portugal, and you've probably heard it so much over the last year. Well, let me bring in my guest at this point in time. His name is Pedro Guerrero. He is the editor of Jornal dos Negocios. That's an economic newspaper. Pedro, please step forward. Let, let me ask you, I know that we'll see the, the demonstrations later in the day here in Lisbon, but is it your impression that the trade unions have a lot of support in rejecting austerity measures introduced by the Portuguese government? Well, I think it's understandable that people move to protests and to, to a general strike such as this because the austerity measures really are hard upon them. As you said, people are paying much more taxes and they are losing wages and losing jobs and losing pensions and, and, and so on. Uh, having said that, uh, you, you have to, f to, to stress that you, have, uh, you don't have any kind of violence uh, uh, in Portugal, unlike other countries. I mean, look around. We are on the center of Lisbon and it's, it's nothing close to Athens. It's it. You have uh, protests, but you don't have aggression. So I think that people are saying, uh, they are not saying that we will not accept these austerity measures. They are saying other thing, which is we demand that there is more than austerity. We demand that there is uh, a, 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 an economical policy of growth uh, that brings prospects. Uh, I mean, they're saying, and this applies not only to Portugal, but to all Europe, they are saying that it must be worthwhile because you have uh, prospects of n n slow growth or no growth in Europe for the next year. And, and, and unfortunately, uh, Pedro, in Portugal itself, I have to say the projections are that the recession in this country will be the worst of the entire Eurozone in, in 2012, and unemployment will carry on going up through 2012. Yes, especially among young people. You have a recession of 3% for, for, for the next year, which is the worst, as you said. Uh, nonetheless, it's almost half of what it was on the, on the worst year of Greece and on the worst year of, of Ireland. Uh, and, and let's hope that uh, it, it remains that, that, that way in 3%, because there is a risk, which, is the, 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 which are the exports, uh, which are growing in Portugal, uh, because exports depend of, of the Eurozone economy in itself. And as, as, as I said, uh, you don't have any growth on the, on the next year, not only in countries as, such as Portugal, but also in France and in, in Spain, well, even Germany is struggling for a slow growth of about 1%, and that really is a menace, not only to Portugal economy, but the Eurozone economy in, in, in itself. Pedro Guerrero, I'm afraid we have to cut it off there. We've run out of time with so many other events going on around the world. But that's the situation here in Lisbon, Tony, and we'll be updating you on this general strike throughout the day. Uh, Barnaby, appreciate it. I wish we did have more time for you. Uh, Barnaby Phillips.